Hey everyone and welcome back to EU4 as Saxony with the newest Emperor DLC and uh, I've managed to spend the first episode just talking without moving forward in time but I promise you we will move forward in time today but um, there's a couple of more things I wanted to check. I just need to make sure that everything I want to get done has been done before we start here. We have started building our troops. We have reduced maintenance. We have mothballed our fortress. We have got our crown lands in order. And oh, right. Now, I did want to check if there's some privileges that we want to add. Now, I'm not going to go over all of them right now. That would just be too much. Um, I did check some of them. The Papal Emissary, I really want to get for this uh, yearly papal influence that's very very good um but we don't have the papal influence at the moment so we can't do that now all of these privileges uh is we're gonna heavily rely on them early on because they're a great source of loyalty for the estates uh, while also giving them a lot of influence and um, some of them have, you know, just effects. Some will affect our... I think all of them will affect our absolutism. So we'll have to repeal them later on. But they will give some great bonuses. And not all of them will actually result in us losing crown land. So those are preferable um, to go for. Now, look at this. This is giving us one extra power. One admin point per month. And there's actually privileges for the nobility and burghers as well in the similar fashion giving us points in the other categories and those are something i really want to go for but they're very expensive as you can see here we don't have the crown land right now because i don't want to suffer from that uh, penalty there that we just got rid of but there's a couple things we can really go for such as this oversight by the clergy you know this doesn't really like have any effect it just makes them more influential but also more loyal so this is a good thing to pick up and some of these others like a quick cash grab we can go for but um yeah i'm not gonna go for that immediately uh this is interesting as well but yeah so i, I check these none of these privileges i actually want to go immediately except this I don't think we have the money right now, but increased levies is something I'm going to go for very soon. Now, this doesn't cost any crown land, and it doesn't actually change... It doesn't really do much, except increase the influence of the nobility. But it converts 9% of our tax to almost 40% of our manpower. That is a huge trade-off. So much better than buying mercenaries or whatever. So this is something I'm going to go for very quickly, but we need to improve our economy before we can do that. I don't really, I'm not really too keen on selling off our uh, monopolies here, but we might have to do that eventually. And as for the burgers, um, yeah, free enterprise is actually something we can go for. That just gives them more happiness. And this is cool too. Extra inflation reduction, production efficiency, but the power cost I don't like too much. So I think we're going to leave it here for now. Specifically, the government capacity is something we don't need at the moment. We still have plenty to spare. So uh, we can worry about that a little bit later. Okay, so we are actually going to do it, guys. I know it's insane, but we are going to move forward in time. It's crazy. So much dispute succession, um, but that's fine. Okay, in immediately paused because... I'm scared. No. Okay, let's move on forward. Let's see what happens. We've got three diplomats. And, okay, yeah, the first... Oh, no, this is actually not the incident just yet. I'm not entirely sure. But, yeah, the Kingdom of Italy and the Empire. For years now, Imperial Authority over the Kingdom. Oh, interesting. It actually... Didn't it just show me something? I'm not sure. Um has been waning. Successive Emperors have failed to impose their will on the Italian states as they have begun to act with total disregard for imperial laws and customs. Unless the wayward nations of Northern Italy are firmly reigned in soon, Italy may slip out of imperial control forever. Yeah, so this will likely trigger an incident. It hasn't done it just yet, but it will happen very soon. And uh, that's something where we can get involved in. But yeah, for now, we have got our free diplomats. We've gotten our royal marriages here. And we need to get some alliances going as well. Okay, um, I chose you two, okay, I can't actually improve relations just now, so we need someone else here, you are allied to freaking Burgundy, bro, okay, you are allied to Unhalt and Magdeburg, maybe, 
Mecklenburg. They don't. Mecklenburg could be a friend as well. Mm, they don't like Staten. They're allied to Verden. Hmm. I think Mecklenburg might be a good ally as well. We'll have to see. But yeah, for now, I can't really do much with my diplomats. Actually, that's not true. We have our rivals, so we might as well go ahead and start with an embargo to get our power projection up here. Where do we have our economic actions? They are issued an embargo on them and on Brunswick as well. Let's wait a day and do the same thing on Hess. Okay, so we're already at full power projection. That's good. It's going to grow uh, more. And as we reach the turn of the month... Mm, we can actually start improving relations with, oh, right, the Pope, as that is our estate agenda here. So let's actually, yeah, lock that down to get this on as quickly as possible for that sweet influence, because right now we don't have a cardinal, it's not looking too hot. And these things are very sweet, as well as these bolds, some of these golden bolds, although we can't really influence them right now anyways. Okay, I'm going to leave this diplomat here. Hmm, how likely is this? It's pretty far away, actually. This is even further away, surprisingly. Hmm, you're like to Denmark and Mecklenburg. Okay, I think Mecklenburg might be the way to go because, yeah, I think they're going to be our third person here. Match with Volgust. Should I just go for it? Oh, we're going to lose legitimacy for that, so I'm not sure. Let's let's wait. Mm. I'm actually I actually believe that we have a better chance with Austria here to get that alliance. So let's improve relations and yeah, just build up our troops and then we hope for the best. That's really all we can do for the moment. And there's wow, there's rebels here already. Hmm, I think that's the estates. All right. Uh, okay, that's an interesting way to move. <laughs> I haven't seen that before. All right, so what do you say about our troops now? It hasn't actually changed. You still think our strength... Oh my god, it just gets worse. All right. Hmm. Well, I guess that's not entirely unexpected. Good. So we're just going to be improving relations. I guess we can move on a little bit faster. I always have the issue that I think I'm forgetting something. Like in the beginning, there's so much you need to set up. Um, right. And I did. I actually wanted to improve stability. I knew there was something I wanted to do, but it's not too late. Let's go ahead and do that. Spend the 100 points. The one stability is really a sweet spot. It gives so many great benefits and it does really cost all that much. So you always want to be around uh, stability of one. Yeah. Okay, we're working on that. Can't really do anything with the estates. Yeah, I really don't think there's much we can do right now. So let's just move on and um, see what's going on here. Huh. I like to Brandenburg as well. Okay. And Poland already got their personal union. Wow, that was quick. That was actually very quick. And there's our first event that we've gotten here. Very nice. The Saxon Fratricidal War. After the death of Prince Elector Frederick II's uncle, Frederick. Okay, there's a lot of Friedrichs or Fredericks um, of Thuringia. The Thuringian Vettin lands came under the rule of Saxony. However, an argument soon broke out between the Prince Elector and his brother Wilhelm over the fair distribution of these lands. According to the division of Altenburg, an agreement arbitrated with the help of Brandenburg and Hess, two of our rivals, by the way, the two brothers would be joint rulers, with Frederick II being allocated the core territories of Meissen, which is around here, and in the east, and Wilhelm giving control over Thuringia. However, Wilhelm disputes this arrangement, demanding more land, rulership of Wittenberg at least, threatening war utter otherwise. Wow. Okay, well, that's great. We would do anything for our dear brother. We lose our core in Wittenberg. We would see Wittenberg... No, we can't do that. Like, that's that's a quarter of our development. Let there be war. Thuringia gains a claim on Württemberg. Six pretend rebels revolt in Weimar. Okay. So, this is not immediately our issue, but it will become our issue very soon. Wilhelm, our brother, has risen up. And that means 
we have to <laughs> increase maintenance again. Okay, that also means we need a leader, pretty much. But since this is our brother, ah man, but we're just so bad. No, I don't think we're gonna be fighting this war ourselves. I think we're gonna we're gonna hire a general there. Yep. Uh, Franz Xaver Kranke. Okay. Yeah, there you go. He's not good. A one-one. I mean, it could be worse, but it could could also be a lot better as well. So, do we have a river? Probably, of course. Uh, we do not have a river here, so we'll probably attack from this side. We'll have to see. Although maybe it doesn't matter, because there is a fortress. So yeah, I think we should be fine here. Okay, let's see what uh, Austria says. Damn, I'm feeling so unsafe right now. It's actually insane. If no ally. All right, we're gonna have to wait here. I mean, luckily this will hold out for a while. So we should be good here. Next month, we can move in. There you go. And yeah, they did get the terrain penalty. And we rolled a zero there. That's bad. We're getting reinforcements. Awesome. Okay, so that was... We were victorious here. First test of our strength. Now, it seems the draperies of Zwickau... Ah, interesting. ...have become increasingly sought after in the Mecklenburgian capital of Rostock. There was always a high demand for our goods, but this exceptional pull has resulted in a great surge of wealth in the province. Very, very good. Now, I think that actually almost seals the deal that I want to go for an alliance with uh, Mecklenburg here. Yeah, let's let's do that. Um, how far... We can improve relations a lot more. Do I want to lock down their... Oh man, they already have too many dip... Ah, it's difficult. We might not be able to do this. But yeah, um, there's the Golden Bull. Development cost reduction. That's very good. We have that as part of our ideas. And with one of the first reforms, which by the way, I'm going to vote for them. I'm probably going to vote for all of them. Mm, all the way to the perpetual diet. Actually, we can even go this far. All of this is really beneficial. Not sure if I like this. Although tech cost reduction, institution spread. But it disallows internal wars. So I'm not sure if I really vote for this. But the rest I can vote for immediately. And um, yeah, this is giving us some nice bonuses. Cool. Okay, let's go ahead and not pay our troops for now. We need to save money in the beginning here. Uh, we're off to a rocky start. Well, not, not really, necessarily. There is the Surrender of May. Now, th by the way, this is one of these examples of an event that I have read, written, not written, read many times. I don't need to check it out again. Uh, but yeah, this will trigger the war. In fact, I guess I should have read it because they didn't just, they didn't go to war yet. They just got it. Well, that's good for them. And the nobility is losing influence because influential landowners and traditional warrior class in our state have not fared well lately. Excessive infighting, poorly coordinated power plays. They have lost influence. Okay. Um, nice. I guess that's good for us. I guess that's good for us for now. All right. Our income is actually not too bad. Specifically our tax. I like it. I think we might even be able... Hold on. I'm, here's the thing. Once we have capped out on manpower, I think I'm going to go for the noble privilege here that gives us even more. We don't need that right now, but uh, it will help. And I also want to go ahead and insult one of our rivals here soon. But we're waiting for our diplomats to finish their missions. Um, first. We can actually improve a lot more. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but we need... Austria is crucial. So this is... A, I just need more diplomats, really. And smugglers. What? Okay. Smugglers dominating. Oh my goodness. For 10 years trade and... No, we can't do that. We have to pay up. That's very unfortunate. That's a very unfortunate event we got there. Can't always get lucky, I suppose. We're going to be finished with improving the uh, relations with the Papal States soon. So we can use that to get in lines. I just hope no one's attacking us right now. Man, on very hard, I've had some really, really... Like, it's fun, but it's very, very different 
um, from a regular campaign because the AI will actually declare war. Like, they will actually declare war on you. Oh my goodness, I just thought that was a declaration of war. It wasn't. But, um, yeah, Roman's invasion, Moldavia becomes a march. So, so far, Poland is doing very well. They've increased their strength significantly. All right, so there goes that. I guess we're gonna, nope, yeah, we finish it here. Yearly papal influence has, a, and this is big. Now, also the uh, relation um, helps a lot with that. In fact, you know what? We might even just let that cap out. Although, nah, I, I guess we're gonna have to stop it here and revisit because for now I'm more concerned with actually getting an ally. So let's go ahead and do that first. So prove relations here. Because we need this. How much is... Um, we've got the Royal Marriage, Common Rivals, Diplomatic Reputation. Our army strength is actually positive for them. So they like what we did. Awesome. And where's our... Uh, mm, neutral Attitude. Oh, yeah, opinions plus 21. Good. Okay, we can improve that a lot more. I think we might be able to get here. If we get a little bit more diplomatic reputation, this can work. Alternatively, we can build over our force limit, but I'd like to avoid that if possible. Um, but we definitely, crucially need this alliance with Austria. I think it would have been good to get the royal marriage in with Mecklenburg first, because then we could have secured them. Now, looking kind of bad. All right. We'll find some other ally. I mean, they don't necessarily need to be large. They will be powerful. Um, pretty much just as powerful as we are. Okay. You've got some good friends already. We're getting there. Just anxious that we are getting attacked here. By the way, Palatinate could be a good ally as well. But they already have too many diplomatic relations. So it used to be that the AI waited and reserved one, ooh, for you, one relation, but they no longer do that. And yeah, too long has Brandenburg threatened our borders, but no more. We have managed to produce a very legitimate document, or very legitimate documents, which show that we have a historical claim on Brandenburg. So yeah, we get, actually gain also prestige for that. That's, that's a really cool event. And um, yeah, things have changed. Uh, fabricating in the HRE is a lot more expensive. So instead of uh, 20, we now need, oh, well, now it's 35, but yeah, we need 50% more. So we actually need 30 um, spy network for a single claim. So that's uh, that's pretty difficult to do. Anyway, what do you say, Austria? You say, uh, not quite. Opinion actually does give a lot of bonuses here. Oof. Who are you allied to? Anhalt, Ansbach, and Stanton. Yeah, okay. You went with the other one. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Makes sense. But yeah. I right, just really want to secure an alliance here. ASAP. Okay, we've got a little bit of money in the bank. That's fine. We'll leave it there. And once churches come around, we'll get them. And the Saxon princes taken hostage. It appears that tensions are still running high among the Saxon and Thuringian nobility following the war between Friedrich and Wilhelm. A knight, Kunz von Kaufungen, who fought on Friedrich's side but was financially ruined by the conflict, has banded together with several disaffected Thuringian knights and hatched a plan to take the prince elector's sons hostage to gain leverage for blackmail. The act was a success. And they were able to cross the border into Bohemia, of course. From there, they have issued a demand. 200 ducats or both princes die. Are you insane? Wow. We do not pay traitors. Saxony in grief until the death of Frederick. Oh my goodness. That is so bad. Our current heir will die. Now, I don't like to be blackmailed, but then again, this is our son. What is our chance of gaining a new heir? Does it, this should show, actually it shows right here. If our heir dies or gets inherited, then our chance to get a new one is modified 
by plus 60 fertile, number of marriages plus 10. So minus 70, so it would be negative plus 60. Actually, hold on. That's probably one of the reasons I should check this. Air charms. Oh, if only I find that here. Chance of new air. Well, it's plus 60. What's the regular chance? I don't know. I hate to do this. Okay, here's the thing. Here's one thing we can check out. Now, um, indebted to the burgers. Um, take a five-year loans. Take take five five-year loans at 1% interest. The privilege will be removed. We lose mercantilism, gain inflation, and lose trade efficiency. But it's cheaper than a regular loan, which would be 4%. And we gain inflation as well. Yeah, we would gain the same amount of inflation, so that's no change. But there is a interest of 4% versus 1%. But we also have mercantilism. Do we even have? Where's, where is our mercantilism? Uh, am I blind? I don't think we have... Actually, no, we do. 10%. I think we might do this and get our son back. Let's do this. Um, or we could also give out some monopolies here to get the cash without that. But no, I'm going to go for this and in, be indebted to the burgers here. So we have 200 gold. And that means we can now pay up. There we go. But um, the... Yeah, when is this due? Five years. Well, I don't know if we can actually pay that. Well, it's 100 gold. And the interest is luckily not very high. So yeah, we at least saved our son. But um, apparently two sons. But yeah, that was not very good. Okay, we've improved relations with Austria to the maximum, and we are not there. Hmm. I'm friendly. Maybe that will change for them as well. So what do you say? You say almost. You know what? We might as well actually improve relations with you in the meantime. Because that will help with your liberty desire. Improve relations, defended provinces, have a claim. Okay. Let's improve that here. And let's keep an eye on this to see when we can get the alliance, which will be very soon. Man, what a bad situation we have been in so far. But yeah, this is what I meant. Like, there's really cool new events. That, um, that are pretty fun. Just make it a lot more interesting to play here. Uh, in general. Alright. Next month we should be fine. Alright. Not quite. But next month. There we go. So let's come back. And let's get that lines going. Woo! Okay, I feel... Safer now. Now they only have 5,000 men, but um, you know, 5,000 men on our side. That's really good news. Okay, they're in the hands. Restoration of Union on Unhalt. Interesting. How do they have Restoration of Union? But yeah, Austria. Oh, by the way, I should probably check. Is there any succession disputes that we can. Nah, they're all very young. Okay, so what do you say? Vote for us doesn't really count much. Hmm. I don't really know what else I can do. They don't want this. Hmm. Yeah, this is problematic. But there is the Palatinate. Which we might... Oh, yeah. Actually, I think the Palatinate might be an ally. And they do like Austria. So I think we're going to go for the Palatinate here. We will lose some legitimacy. But I think that's worth it to get them as uh, yeah, as an ally. Plus, they are also an elector. Which could 
come in handy later on. Already Bohemia is backing our rival for the Imperial Throne. I see how it is. Oof, okay. So. Um, yeah, we're going to be focusing on you guys now. Improving relations here. I guess with Austria, it's just not going to happen unless they change their stance. Which I'm not sure if they will. In fact, I doubt it. But um, I'll take any ally I can. In fact, mm, what is... Hold on. There's one thing I can check. Our diplomatic reputation gives us plus four points. Hmm. So if I was to go for this guy, we would get another five points, right? That would bring us to 83. We would need seven more points, which we can get by uh, building up our army, which might not be the worst idea, over force limits. Build out our army over force limits, but I can't really do that right now. We have those loans I would like to get rid of. Hmm. All right. But yeah, those are there are ideas. We can still get that marriage uh, that aligns with Austria. That will secure us. Right now, we're not so secure. Right, I think we can leave that. And there's a Renaissance has just popped up. Where did it? Oh, in Rome itself. Interesting. All right, very cool. Um, yeah, and we have some growth here, but it's slow going. Um, I will likely have to develop a capital here. We'll wait for a couple of... Uh, we'll wait for... Actually, we have the development cost bull already. We'll wait for the first reform that will help us as well. And then we're probably going to have to go for the uh, state edict. And uh, all of that will make it relatively cheap. So we can uh, develop this and get the Renaissance spawned. Just don't really want to wait for that too long. But for now, that was it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.